Have you ever seen somebody bend a bank shot? Here are two examples from Freddy the Beard's DVD, Banks That Don't Go But Do. Here they are again. Is the object ball's path curving after rebounding off the cushion? I decided to recreate this shot on various tables under different conditions to see if I could find convincing proof that an object ball can curve after coming off the cushion. As in Freddy's shot, the goal is to bank the 11 cross corner while avoiding the obstacle 14. This shot cannot be made at slow speed. The 11 barely missed the 14 and it still came up well short of the pocket. Now, it is possible to bank the 11 into the 14 for a combination shot like this. But this shot is very low percentage. It's also possible to drive the 11 through the 14 like this. But this approach is extremely low percentage, not to mention the fact that I just lost the game by pocketing the 8. One could also jump the 11 over the 14 like this. But this is also extremely difficult, although it was fun to practice. A much more reliable approach is to use speed to shorten the rebound angle, allowing the 11 to clear the 14 like this. Some people call this stiffing, or holding up, or twisting, or bending the bank. But if you look closely, the 11 does not curve after rebounding off the cushion. Comparing the shot to the slow speed attempt earlier shows how and why the fast speed bank goes. The faster speed shortens the rebound angle, allowing the ball to be banked farther down the cushion, creating a better angle and more clearance past the obstacle ball. But again, the object ball is not curving or bending after rebound. To try to get the ball to curve more, I roughened up an old cue ball with fine grit sandpaper and cleaned it with acetone. This simulates sticky conditions where the cushion nose really grabs the banking ball as it compresses the cushion. Again, it might look like the ball curved after rebound, but it didn't. Comparing to the original shot, it is clear that the bank can be shortened more with the stickier ball, allowing for more clearance past the obstacle, but the ball's path is not bending. To simulate slick conditions, for example with a new and slick cloth, I next sprayed the banking ball with silicone spray. This made it more difficult to shorten the bank and clear the obstacle, but I was able to do it after many attempts. Again, the banked ball is not curving. To simulate clingy conditions, I wax the banking ball with turtle wax, which increases the amount of throw and spin transfer between the cue ball and object ball. The action was not very different from the previous shot, since the wax reduces friction between the cue ball and cushion, again making it difficult to shorten the bank. Finally, I tried to slicken up the cloth on the table adjacent to the rail with silicone spray, keeping the cushion nose clean. The hope here was that any topspin or masse spin picked up off the cushion would be less likely to wear off when the banked ball got driven down into the table off the cushion nose. Again, no bend resulted, although the silicone spray did make a mess that was difficult to clean up later. I also tried different tables. All of the previous shots were done on my Connolly home table. Here, I'm trying the same shot on a Valley bar box. Again, the ball did not bend. I also tried it on a Brunswick gold crown. Again, no bend. Well, let's return to Freddy's shots. I must admit that the first time I watched these shots, I thought Freddy was bending the ball path after rebound a significant amount. One problem with Freddy's video is that the frame rate is not very fast, so the video is missing large chunks of the shot. For example, in this video frame, the object ball hasn't reached the cushion yet. 
and in the very next video frame, the ball has already rebounded off the cushion, bounced off the table, and is already in the air and rising up at this point. We also don't have much visual detail as the banked ball flies through the air and bounces. When the video is played at regular speed, our vision and brain do their best to interpret the limited and fast-changing information. Also, when the ball is in the air, the perspective changes. The result of all of this is that we might think the banked ball is curving, even if it is not. During this segment of the shot, the banked ball is airborne, and it is difficult to visualize where the ball is relative to the table surface directly beneath the ball. But when the ball lands for the first time, we clearly know where it is relative to the table surface. And the banked ball could not have curved up to this point because it has been in the air the whole time. During the next segment, the ball bounces again, but when it lands, we can again clearly see where the ball is along the extended line. During the remainder of the motion, the object ball continues to move along the same straight line. So the banked ball does not curve even in Freddy's example where it might seem like the ball is curving. Freddy's second clip of a different attempt at the same shot is similar. Again, we don't know exactly where the ball is relative to the table while it is airborne and bouncing, but the straight line path is clear when the ball is in contact with the table. Now let's look closer at the earlier part of the shot. In this video frame, the ball hasn't quite gotten to and compressed the cushion yet. In the very next video frame, the ball is long gone from the cushion and is quite airborne. Again, this might make it look like the ball is more up table than it actually is, but it is not. In this video frame, the banked ball first lands. The ball can bend or curve only after it lands, but it doesn't. Again, the banked ball heads straight, even if the camera angle, limited video coverage, and your imagination is convincing you otherwise.